Hello YouTube. So today this one's a little different. My brother-in-law has this PC, this Alienware older gaming PC mini thing that gives us the yellow light of death is what they call it. He said he moved houses and um, took this with him and hooked it back up and just wouldn't run again. So I think we figured out the problem. This has been sitting for a couple years because he just couldn't figure it out. And I said, hey, I'll give it a st shot. So first thing we're going to do is take the screws out that are right here. So there's four screws right here, here, and here. Use a small Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once you take them out, you lift off this cover. Right here is your hard drive. So we're going to take the hard drive out of this computer because essentially what's going on here is this has a CMOS battery that's going bad. So what's happening is the computer isn't sure how to boot. So we're going to have to take this whole machine apart. So to remove the hard drive, you pull out this screw. And then the hard drive slides forward like that. There is our hard drive. Yeah, this is an old one. This is uh, October 24, 2014. Under this area here is going to be where your battery's at. To get to that, we're going to have to take this whole computer apart. It's going to be fun. To take this computer apart, you have to do the following. You have to carefully slice this out. See. Now, if you unscrew these ends right here, this slides off. We're going to find out. Now, take this apart. There's two screws. Using a cloth to do this. Like a... Like a bath towel just to keep everything kind of together here the other screw comes out got it now, this back supposedly somehow comes off. Now to get this piece off, use a flathead screwdriver and slide up. So yeah, we're going to pull these screws out and take this thing apart. Start by unplugging this connector. Unplugged. We gotta pull these screws out just to make a little bit of room. I'm gonna carefully pull them out to not touch any other components. Screwdriver is coming real handy here.
screws. Carefully slide it out. There's our battery. This is the battery we need to get to. This is the new battery available on Amazon. I will put the link in the video where I got it. Now we need to unplug this battery and wait 20 minutes before we plug in the new battery. This is to clear the, the CMOS settings, all that. Now it's been 20 minutes. So, that was the one thing around here. Something very, very important here is you want to make sure the polarity is right. There's like a little ta locking tab that sits up here. You want to make sure it's that direction. Polarity is important here. Now on the back of the battery, there's a little sticky tab. If you pull that off, you need to stick the battery right here. It's right where the battery sticks. So we got it stuck there. So now we need to flip the board. And we're going to put it back in the case. Like that. See, it locks in. We're going to start plugging some of this stuff back in here. Like that needs to be... Actually, let's do our screws first. Good thing for a uh, magnetic type of screwdriver here. So for the magnetic screwdriver, you see it's on there. And then to seat the board, Push up, screw, 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 screw. I'm not going to get them super tight quite yet. This kind of work you want to be really delicate with. And I mean, it, you don't need to go super tight just till it clicks in. There's that one. And then there's, there's not too much to this thing. Just a couple of screws holding it in. I'm not sure why somebody would make a machine like this, you know? I mean, I'm not sure why you would do it that way. I mean, it's just, I don't know. So now it's getting back in. Reason why I'm using a uh, towel on this particular one is um, the dryer's metal. Putting this board on like a metal surface would probably be a bad idea. So we got this, we're gonna plug this connector back in. It's back in. That's on. Now, we need to put that front cover back on. So here's the front cover. Slides in there. And then we have screws for it. Put the screw in the corner.
then you put your screw, other screw in. So we're in. Now we're gonna put our fans back together. So here's our CPU. We're gonna lock it back in on the case here. So it's locked in. We're gonna plug our CPU The way this plugs in is it has a side. You'll see a little cutout. Make sure it faces that way. Now, time for our graphic processor unit. Plugs in right here. See the little lip goes on the outside. So we're gonna slide in this unit. There it is, except, don't just do what I did, plug it in first. They make it kind of really, really hard to get your uh, fingers in there. So it's in there. Now, it's locked in. Now we need to put the hard drive in. Now to put the hard drive in, you'll see here's your pins for your hard drive. Here's your enclosure. So you're gonna kind of set it right there where it sits down and then push forward. And then we're gonna put our locking screw in. Now we're gonna put it back in the case. this works is the this part of the case right here actually it's the other way around it goes just like this because the fans you'll see where they're at everything matches right here and uh, Okay, so it lines up. We're lined up. Lined up here. Cover on backward the LED flashes there. Pop this on. That's that. Now put your screws back in. screws in. We're going to put all four screws back in and then we're going to plug it in and then see if it boots. Now before plugging back in you need to hold the power button that's the Alienware logo on the front of the computer for 30 seconds with everything unplugged just hold it there for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds let the button go and plug the computer back in. When the computer boots up, you will want to press, I do believe it's like F2 or maybe F10. I think it's F2. And then you'll want to just confirm the BIOS because it's going to go to the BIOS. Just save it and exit and the computer will boot up. And then that, so that, that fixes it. I hope this video helped you with repairing your PC. Uh, please like and subscribe. We do many things on this channel, um, mainly scam baiting and some repair videos. Anyway, I hope this helps.